So a few weeks ago, I was at my local thrift store and I was looking through the blankets as I usually do because you guys know I love thrift flipping blankets. Well, I did finally find this one blanket I have been on the hunt for, which is a wool blanket so I can make this one beautiful hand sewn blanket jacket. This is it. This is the blanket I thrifted and this is the blanket jacket we are gonna be making today. So the pattern I'm using for this jacket is from Ann Erin, and she's the one who created this idea of taking one of these wool blankets and then just hand sewing it into a jacket rather than like machine sewing it. I don't know. She uses like thick thread and it's like a nice contrast. So first step, I need to cut out all these pieces. I really don't want to wake you up, but I gotta, I gotta get going. I gotta get to work. You are so tired. So I probably should have done this from the start because this blanket has been sitting in my closet for weeks now, so it's very wrinkly, but I guess better late than never. Yeah, that's better. So when I laid down the blanket, I realized that it is very splotchy in some parts of the blanket, so I made sure to use the good parts of the blanket for the front pieces of my jacket and then for the splotchy pieces I'm gonna use for the back pieces of the jacket because honestly, the back of your clothes is kinda like the back of your hair. No one really cares about the back of your hair as long as the good of the hair looks front. Good. The front of the hair looks good. That didn't really hit like I thought it was gonna hit. don't really know which one of these colors would be the best for the contrasting thread. So I think what I should do is use this scrap piece of fabric here and test all these colors around the edges of this to see which one looks the best. So by doing this, I am now very confused on what color I should choose because now I like four of them. I really like this blue color. I like this peach color. I like this color. I actually really like them all. Okay, Jack, are you ready to take a long, long walk in the snow? Or be carried in the snow? You have to stay, Benson, sorry. Trust me, you don't want to go there. You don't like that place. <laughs> oh, Jack. We're just walking back from Jack's appointment and we pretty much just figured out that Jack has really good bladder control and he doesn't like the snow so that's why he's only peeing once a day because it's too cold for him which I get it it's probably like 30 degrees where he came from and now it's like negative 10 okay but he didn't really have to scare me because I literally thought that I don't know he was gonna die or something you just don't like the cold is that what it is? That's why you don't like to pee outside? Or pee at all? You don't like the cold. <laughs> Okay.
okay so it really took me a long time to figure out what color I wanted to do for the stitching of this jacket and I had to ask my friends my design friends to see what color they liked the best and the color we decided on or I decided on with their feedback was drum roll please I don't know how to do a drum roll this one we're going with this pinky rosy color I don't know what it's called there's no written instructions with this jacket on how to make it there's just this one TikTok she has as the instructions so I need to watch that to figure out what the first step is okay it's very very fast this TikTok so first step we got to do is do the front to the back so we're doing the shoulder seams did it I did the first row it's not looking the best not looking the worst but I do gotta say I really do like this pink I chose they look really good together those colors seams are done so now next step the side seams so first steps everyone pinning into a vest now and I have not tried it on yet usually when I finish something I try it on and then I show you guys because I'm just like too excited but I have not tried it on so let's see the fit so a nice oversized fit on me I like it I like it so far two hairy thumbs up look who just knocked on my door it's Jack now for the fun part of the jacket, or at least what I think is the fun part of the jacket, and it is the pockets. I made sure to cut the pockets green, solid green without the yellow pattern, just because I thought that would be like a nice contrast. And now seeing it on the jacket, can I help you? I really do. Okay, Jack, you can't be distracting. Like it. You can watch. But no touch. No, 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 no. These are sharp. I don't want to poke you. I just finished the first pocket and I swear I cut out all the pieces correctly but I feel like this flap is a little too small for the bottom pocket right like this kind of shows on the side here like I feel like this should be bigger than the bottom one Jack what are you doing you're supposed to be just sitting there just like Benson see what Benson's doing He's laying there, sleeping all peacefully. And what are you doing? You're interrupting me. So here it looks. So here's how it looks with the pockets. Ta-da. It still looks kind of like rad, ready, radity. You know that word? 
Yeah, it kind of looks like that. And I think it's because obviously there was no arms. It is unfinished. And I haven't done the nice trim all the way along the bottom and here and at the collar. So that is actually the next step. So I think once I do all the trim with the blanket stitch, it will like completely transform it. Also, if you're wondering why our couches are all covered in blankets, it's because we were um, worried that Jack was gonna pee on our couch when we left him alone, and um, he just prefers not to pee at all, actually. Vincent. So last night when I was working on the sweater and um, I was hoping the more stitch work I did, the better it would look. But the more I did, the more I realized I didn't like my yarn choice. I'm just getting uh, like care home vibes with this. And you guys know I love a grandma look, you know, grandma Jenna here, but I feel like it's grandma and not grandma Jetta. And I feel like a thicker yarn and a pop of color will change it to grandma Jenna. So I took off the flaps of the pockets. What am I on? This is what I'm talking about. So next for me, I now need to completely cut out all this yarn now. And hopefully, now that I kind of know what I'm doing, I have lots of practice with this jacket. It won't take me a whole day to get back to where I am at this very moment, maybe half a day. Eleven twenty-six. And I am practically at the step that I was yesterday. And I think it's because this little guy was taking a nap the whole time. So no one was distracting me. So let me show you what I have. So I've done the bottom here all the way up almost to the corner here. So then I got to work up the front, the, the collar part all the way back and then to this part here and then we can actually work on the sleeves which is a new step which I did not get to yesterday. Now for the sleeve. I have these two pieces so it's actually not just one piece for the sleeve. We gotta do a bottom and an upper, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna pin them now so there's no chance for error. Oh yeah, that looks pretty bomb with this sleeve. If I must do say so myself. Honestly, I am just so happy I changed it to this blue color because oh, oh, these colors together, they just make me really happy. But next step should be attaching the sleeves, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet because I need to go to the store and get the buttons for this because they will close. And I'm not sure if they're open the next few days because Christmas is coming up. It's the 22nd if you're curious. Do you guys wanna go for a car ride? Nothing.
next step, we need to do a blanket stitch on the cuffs. So to attach them, I just need to pin them all in place. Perfectly. So there's two things left. There is the collar that needs to be attached and then also the buttons. So I think I'm gonna attach the collar and then sew the buttons. Here it is. Ta-da! What do we think? We think it's a 10 out of 10, right? Just looking at this first impressions, 10 out of 10. Like maybe 9.5 if we go up close and start seeing my detailed work, but no lower than a 9.5. Like this is solid A plus work here. Like it's a blanket jacket. How could it not get at least a 9.5 out of 10? Like any blanket jacket out there is an A plus because you get to walk around outside when it's cold wrapped in a blanket. And you guys know that's pretty much my motto in life. Well, that's it. So I'm gonna go. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.